We've got Barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing all right, Jared. Doing all right. How are you doing today? Doing all right. Hey, do, 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 you, do you want to ask the question too, Kyle? Oh, uh, but... sure. Hey, Austin, how are you doing today? Close enough. Uh, yeah, that was, that was basically the right thing. Uh, I'm doing well. Sorry that you guys uh, can't see me. I'm hiding behind Kyle. Um, so it's, it's, <laughs> it's tough. It's, oh, no, other side. There I am. Okay. Yeah. Uh, good to see you, though. Good to see you. It was a shorter drive to Kyle. That's I, I'm not taking it personally. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we're doing something special today. Where's your screen? He's, he's not doing camera today. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Um, so we're doing yeah, something chair. special today. Oh, oh, my Ooh, screen. Chair. I'm not sending Ooh, my screen to the discord. Chair. I'm not sending my screen to the discord. Whew. I'm being, I'm being a bad host, not sending my screen to the discord. Um, there we go. Screen sent to the discord. All right, you're good. All right. Now let me fix this. And there we go on that. And all right. I'm, I'm, I'm bad at my job, everybody. We're doing something special today. As far as I know, this has never been done. As far as I know, this has never been done. So. The Big Ten has a new TV rights deal. And something that intrigued us when we were reading about the new Big Ten's rights deal is that apparently Fox, NBC and CBS hold a draft for what games air on which networks. And I thought it seemed like a real obvious idea to us, just like, hey, why don't we do that draft? <laughs> why, why don't not? we do that draft? So here, here, here are the rules. Here's what we're doing today. We're, we're taking the basic parameters of what is being done in real life by Fox, NBC, and CBS. We've made a couple changes. Uh, change number one, we're playing by 2024 rules, um, which just basically means uh, that CBS has both SEC and Big Ten games for the 2023 season. Um, so they're only picking like half of what the other network, we're, we're, we're forgetting that. We're, we're, we're not worrying about that. We're going to 2024 where Fox, NBC, and CBS all have 15 games, at least 15 games in the initial in the initial rollout of, of, of games after, cause there's a lot more than those 45 games. Then all those other games get put into a pool and then like Peacock and the big Ted network and, and other networks, they, 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 they get those other games, but we're only doing the first round or the first grouping, which will be about 45 games. So an additional rule uh, is that each week, each of the 13 weeks, Someone has to pick a game. Everyone has to pick a game for that week. That does leave two games left over that can be picked by anyone, by anywhere. So that's, you know, so you get like two bonus, two bonus games. Um, so with that, I'm going to, I'm going to switch over uh, to switch over to our big board here. All right. I will be playing the role of Fox. Kyle will be playing the role of CBS. I think that's backwards, isn't it? Uh, you know what? I think it's right. I think you're right. Uh, uh, hold on. I just <laughs> I, I messed it up when I made the graphic. I'm switching these. I'm still bad at my job. Still bad at my job. Um, there we go. There you go. I'm putting the CBS down there. Kyle will be playing. Oh, so Jared, me, I'm Jared. will be playing the role of Fox Sports. Kyle will be playing the role of NBC. And Austin on audio will be playing the role of CBS. So with all of that being said, I will be choosing in the first round. Ohio State versus Michigan. Surprise, surprise. I'm I know, shocked. right? Yeah. Shocking. <laughs> and a shocking revelation. Ohio State versus Michigan. All right. Kyle, you pick. So for me here, I'm going to pick in week eight. 
It is Penn State at Ohio State. Ooh. Yeah, that was the next one on my board. <laughs> That's completely fair. I mean, at that point, you, yeah, those are the, the three biggest brands in the Big Ten. So exactly, all, all playing I, each other. I I completely agree. So when you say the three biggest brands, Austin, is that is that a is that a nod towards your pick? Uh, actually, it's not. Okay. Because here's the thing. Okay. Although I would love to uh, have Penn State and Michigan. I think that there is a week that's a little bit weaker. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And everyone tunes into this game, if not only for the atmosphere. So I'm going to take for week four, the whiteout game and take Iowa at Penn State. All right. Iowa. I respect that. I respect that. At Penn State. Yeah, Iowa, Iowa's kind of that, kind of like Michigan State last year, where we're like, we don't know how good Iowa really is going to be. I know, Bri I know Brian Ferentz is still their offensive coordinator. Well, uh, see, I'm, I'm trying true. to think. I'm trying to think through <laughs> being if I'm actually CBS, right? And I want the ratings. A bunch of people are going to tune into the Whiteout game, if not even just for the first couple minutes, just to see that atmosphere, see what's happening. I mean, you remember the, the Michigan against Penn State game from, I don't even know how many years ago it was at this point where Michigan couldn't even get the ball snapped on their first play. Like people are going to want to look at that and to view that. And so trying to get the numbers up, I think a lot of people will be uh, tuning in to watch that game, especially because if you look at the week four schedule, it's not a lot going on. Yes, uh, in, a, in a very niche but accurate joke, Buckeye Esquire says he has no boss now. He's ungovernable. Th this is true. <laughs> Brian Ferentz is a total wild card. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, however, will be finishing out the uh, the trifecta of the big brands, and I will be picking Penn State. Are, are, we, are we doing, aren't we doing um, snake? snake? No, yeah. Fo no Fox not, owns this shit. Fo Fox nah. The big drafts. Yeah. Right. Fox owns this shit. All right. <laughs> you could be Fox next year. All right. <laughs> uh, wait, uh, week 11, yeah. uh, Penn State versus Michigan. All right. That's fair. That is fair. So let me just make sure I get this. So. Michigan at Penn State, and that one is Jared. I am going to go to. I, I think I think this is going to be a really great atmosphere here. It always is whenever Ohio State rolls into town. I'm going to go Week Nine. Yep. Ohio State taking on the Fighting Fickles. Mm-hmm. I, I do not disagree with that pick whatsoever, um, especially if Wisconsin's good. The mm -hmm. the storylines write themselves with Luke Fickle. Um, I, I think that's a great call. <laughs> Maryland versus Rutgers. It's on my board. <laughs> it's very low, but it's on there. <laughs> uh, based off of, I think I, I we'll worry about it when we get there. Worry about it when we get there. So I'm left with, I think, about three realistic options for my next pick. And I'm going to pick a game that might be a little bit farther down your guys' boards. But again, it's on a week where there's not a lot going on. And it's always nice to pick a game that hardly ever happens. Okay. So I'm going to take week three. And Jared, I'm not even sure you have the logo for it. I do. <laughs> Washington at Michigan yep. State. Yep. That that was that was on mine, but it's down a little bit here. Probably too early for me to pick right now, but definitely on there in my oh. Oh, first oh, choices just, there. That's very sneaky, Jared. <laughs> look there. at that, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to hide the picks from us. He doesn't want to know that they're there. Uh-huh. Jeez, look at this. Look at Fox here. Jeez. I'm I'm Fox. I don't play fair. Yeah. Well. <laughs> no, I, I don't know why. I don't know how I missed that. 
Um, I think I maybe thought it was because I if you if you look at these games down here, these are the games that I put on here mistakenly. Be, but then I realized, oh, by the way, real quick, in case anyone's wondering, the pool of games we're picking from are the games that Fox, excuse me, that the Big Ten um, owns. Uh, therefore, the way that is determined, like, for example, um, last year, Ohio State hosted Notre Dame, therefore it was a Big Ten game. This year, Notre Dame is hosting Ohio State, therefore it is an NBC Notre Dame-owned game. So, like, Ohio State versus Notre Dame is not available to pick from this year because it's it's a Notre Dame property, not a Big Ten property. Just yeah. just so everyone knows. All right, um, all right back to you, Jared. <laughs> Buckeye Esquire says Marilyn Rutger says BTN Prime written all over it. <laughs> yes. It's, it's going to be on Peacock 100%. <laughs> yes. Penix is rising. Yes. <sighs> all right. All right Fox. Um, Fox. Fox, 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 Fox. Um, I will be picking. And I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know why specifically. I, I think is is it is it fair to say at this point? Is it fair to say at this point that like these are the premier games off of the list? Absolutely. Like the, these are the S tier. These are the six like S tier games to pick from this year. Yes. These are the top six on my entire board. All, all six of the top six from my board yeah. are completely gone. Okay. So I'm going to go with what could be a surprise game in what is kind of a week week on the schedule. I need to find a better way of saying that. Um, so I'm going to go to week seven and we're going to go Ohio State Purdue. Um, Ooh. Ooh. Ohio State returning to Purdue. After, you know, the right. last time they were there, it was a big upset. It, it's it's a garbage week. If you look at Up the week, you. it's kind of a garbage week. <laughs> Oh, I'm putting it in the wrong spot. Um, it's kind of a garbage week. Um, not a lot of good games to pick yeah. from. I, I think I it's I think it's a gem. I I, think, I think that's a heavy reach. Yeah, I I disagree because actually next on my pick is actually week seven as well, yep, Jared. I, I have that game up there as well. Yep, I have Wisconsin and Iowa. Yep. for week seven. Um, what, that that better, hold on, timeout, timeout. The number one game for I agree. for for the week. Okay, y'all are thinking it's football fans. As a TV right. executive? Yes, sure. Ohio State, the brand. Yeah, absolutely. As a television executive, because listen, the fact that you're putting that on NBC at primetime, nah, that has CBS midday nap well, written all over it. The issue that you're going to run into, Jared, though, is that when Purdue comes into that game and they're two and five, no one's going to care. <laughs> and Purdue's bad. It doesn't you can but you can sell the upset. The last time Ohio State and Purdue played, yada yada yada. Yeah. I, I, I see where you're going with it, but also this is I think Wisconsin's first big home game. Like this is probably I assume this is probably around their homecoming time. Like this 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 game has potential. Wisconsin Iowa would be pretty good. Can you imagine if Fickle and Brian Ferentz get into a defensive duel? Imagine. You'd watch. I'm expecting it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. What you got, Austin, for your next one? So I can wait on my week seven now. Draft etiquette. Yep. And all that. Yes. Um, yes. Not necessarily. I, we well, have two rogue games, yeah, yeah, yeah. two wild card games. That's true. But I'm going to wait on it just a little bit because I think. Come on. You, you don't want that Michigan State Rutgers game? I, <laughs> unfortunately, again, it's on Illinois, the Maryland's right there. <laughs> Uh, instead, I'm actually going to go to week 11 as well. Um, okay. Because I feel like, yep. again, brands, um, this game always gets ratings, even though it's a blowout most of the time. Um, I need an Ohio State game. I'm going to take Michigan State at Ohio State. Yep, that's a good call. That one is. That's a good one there. I mean, it, it, it'll... Have they released the time for this game yet? I mean, I would put this in. It typically is like the ABC primetime. Obviously, it's like I know they just before. released. I know they just released their um, like the second round of games. 
that have been like publicized as far as times, but I don't know if this one's been, if this that, one's that just, been, it just, I feel like that game should almost always be yeah, it's, a night game. It just feels right. Yeah. It's, it's not, not determined yet. I, if I were Ohio state, I, I wouldn't, you're already playing a, you're already playing a, Oh, night. I guess that's, that's November. So I guess they won't be a night game. Right. Oh, that's true. That's true. Oh yes. Yeah. So Assuming we're still better. playing by those rules. Yeah, it'll be a three thirty four o'clock kickoff, I'm sure. Yeah, Anyways. but it, but isn't NBC like getting primetime games as part of their deal? Isn't yeah, that? But Jared, this game's on CBS, as you can see with my draft. Uh, well, I'm just <laughs> do those old do those old rules still apply? I think because I think the whole thing is like NBC is supposed to get an eight o'clock Big Ten game. Isn't yeah. that the whole thing? I don't know. This That's is what all the drama's about right now. So. I thought I read they might be doing November night games. I, that's what I'm saying. Like Certainly the whole know. the whole idea is is that Fox gets the the noon game, CBS gets the three thirty, and NBC gets the night game. Like I think that's supposed to be the whole deal. Yeah. So uh, I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure on that one, to be honest. All right, Jared, what you got next in your in your picks? All right, I'm once again channeling my inner TV executive. And if I get a chance to have Ohio State in November this late in the draft, I'm going to take it. Week 12, Ohio okay. State versus Minnesota, who might be pretty decent. That Like this this might be a decent Minnesota team. Here we go again. I actually like that pick. Here we go again. Jared rowing the boat still after all <laughs> these years. Row the boat. When will he learn? <laughs> Several years ago when I stopped rowing the boat. <laughs> Yeah, that boat is to the bottom of whatever great lake you want to put it in. Uh, <laughs> yes. What, what spikes? What spikes? Skiff. Spikes. Skiff. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's Throw that boat, baby. All right. Um, I think a potential sleeper here. What I have here. Um, you did week twelve. I actually did. Um, well, my next board here is actually week 12 as well, Jared. Oh, are you going where I think you're going? It, it is not Wisconsin. It is Ooh. it is Michigan mm -hmm. versus Maryland. Our or first Maryland. Terp. Our first Terp appearance. Jared, I'll tell you for free. You might see another Terp appearance in a second. <laughs> I, I think Maryland is just... It, I think kind of like Iowa, maybe not to degree Iowa, but I think Maryland could be a sneaky, sneaky team uh, this season here. They have they have the chance to be that third, fourth, push into third, maybe best team in the um, in the in the East this year. But we'll we'll see. No way. That, no, that Kyle. Stretch, but... the, the top three are pretty much the top three. Yeah, there, there's 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 no way they're better than Penn State this year. And I'm not even going to entertain the idea that they're better than Ohio State or Michigan. And after that, being fourth is not much of an accomplishment in the East. Well, it, yeah, at least you like congrats, you beat Rutgers, Indiana and Maryland or uh, Michigan State. OK. Um, but as I said, Jared, I'm going to take a Maryland game as well, because I really looked into this. Do either of you happen to know when Ohio State's bye week is? Isn't that like uh, week six? It's week five. Five. So there's going to be a lot of Ohio State fans fiending for an Ohio State game. So I'm going to take week six, Ohio State and Maryland. It's not a bad pick. It's not a bad pick at all. Again, it's going to be that wearing, week, wearing, wearing that TV week. executive hat. Yep. Plus week six isn't the best. There's just a couple games. There's literally only, what is it, six Big Ten owned games that week. Mm -hmm. And one of them is Howard at Northwestern, <laughs> which I'm just going to go ahead and throw this out there. Isn't going to get picked today. But just in case it is, hey, I do have a Howard. I do have I do have a Howard Bison logo just in case someone does. Which yes, uh, I had to download specifically for today. You, Jared? Is it? Are you? <laughs> Am I? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, if we were if we were playing um, 
as if we were doing SEC here, I mean, week, what is it? Week 12 of all those off, <laughs> off week games. games. Yeah. yeah. Not, not by the way, in my thinking, taking Minnesota, Ohio state. Yeah. Cause there's going to be more eyes on it. That's fair. 100% my thinking in what my thinking. Got? Um, looking around here, I, I could, I could go with another Ohio state game. Um, I think there's a couple good ones to pick from, um, right now, again, I'm, I'm Fox. I'm trying to do my big noon kickoff. I'm looking for marquee names, marquee positions. Don't do it, Jared. What, what do you think? Pick. Don't take my pick. I'm not saying anything. Um, no one's picked anything from week five yet. Son of a bitch. And, <laughs> you son of a bitch. And I think what you have is two marquee names. Um, some classic Big Ten football, sort of, because Nebraska's not been in the Big Ten all that long. Oh, you have goodness. Michigan, you have Nebraska. Th- this is this is some old school football right here. Two big brands, big noon kickoff live from, uh, is it Lincoln? I believe so. It is, yes. Yeah, live from Lincoln. Yeah, week five, Michigan at Nebraska. Yeah, that one hurt. That's and, and I think it's it's an early Matt Rule's the new coach there. It's an early season. It's like what, probably their first big test. So I really wanted yeah. that one. That was a good pick. What if Nebraska is back with Matt Rule? I I think he has a shot, but I don't think it's this year. <laughs> well, you got to remember though, Nebraska they lost most of their games by all those one score scores. Like they they're not yeah. completely terrible. There's talent on that roster. They've got a shot to be all right. They have Austin. Yes, they have a shot to be all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This would be a scrappy year. Yeah. That sets up a we're back talk for 2025. Yeah. What Esquire is saying. 2024. Yeah. Right, I, I knew what you meant. What you got, Kyle? All right. I got here. I think we'll, I think I'm going to go. We'll, to the last week here, week 13. I'm going to you give have a couple week- good pick, a couple good ones to pick from here. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's the quote unquote rivalry week here. Right. And this isn't Maryland really right. Rutgers. <laughs> this really isn't a rivalry, but I got a uh, Penn State and Sparty. I, you know, we're supposed to pretend it is ever since this has been on the schedule ever since uh, Sparty, or excuse me, ever since Michigan. Or- Penn wow, State. Penn State. Uh, ever since Penn State joined, um, they've been trying to force this rivalry down both of these schools' throats since 1993. It hasn't taken yet, but they keep playing the game. I mean, it's it's better than anything else, but that's not Ohio State, Michigan, probably. No, <laughs> for, for that week, absolutely. No. Well, well, I guess we'll see if you try and take one later. Yeah. Um, but as you can see from my picks, you guys are kind of taking that middle and end of the draft. Um, I'm going to continue to take some from the beginning of the season. Um, and again, the opening week yeah. isn't great. Um, so again, my thought process, same as Michigan State with Washington, take a premier, quote unquote premier, um, out of conference game. Give me uh, West Virginia at Penn State. Ooh. That, that, that was that was actually my next one there, Austin. If you weren't going to yep. take that, that was going to be what I was going to take for week one. I was afraid you were going to take my next pick, which is a week one pick, um, but you didn't. So um, we're good. I, I only see two other week one ones you could. Yeah, take. I agree. There, 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 there are two additional ones worth taking. Potential to be a real fun one. I agree. Um, th- this game is really just the FU pit game. Yeah. These are the two teams that Pitt really wants to be rivals with, but no one cares. <laughs> this this is this is just like the we mutually hate Pitt game. Although Penn State would never admit to it. All right. Speaking of week one, um you talk about people being fiending for some Ohio State content after a week off, Austin. How about an entire season off? Sure. Opening weekend. 
Ohio State, Indiana. You get a Big Ten game when most of the other games aren't even aren't even uh, conference games. A lot of FCS schools. Well, I get a Big Ten matchup in week one. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Give me Ohio State. Give me Indiana. You're going to be correct there. You just flip Ohio State and Indiana. Oh, wait. He's oh, I, I, it Kyle, matter. I haven't, I have not yeah. been attempting to do that. <laughs> All right. It says versus not at. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Um, oops, huh. wrong Which one. game on this list can be considered the killdozer game? Ohio State, IU. <laughs> All right. The next game I have here. I'm going to go with week five, Jared. Okay. I see the vision. Yep. <laughs> I, I got Sparty yeah. heading on over to Iowa. I'm, I'm glad our boards all fell roughly the same so that way I can just mark things off from the top of my board instead of having <laughs> to search for games. I mean, a lot of the picks are pretty obvious, especially, especially if you're if you're looking at this from a TV executive standpoint, which is what I think we're supposed to be doing. Um because it's it's largely about brands, right? Yeah, and uh, looking at it now, I'm actually in trouble because I don't think I have another week five game on my board, but uh, we'll figure that out when we get there. Um, I mean, I Wa Wagner about, and Rutgers so. is still there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I mean, it's an option to look at all these other games. Um, but oh, is, it, is there a limit? Oh, Kyle's letting me know. Is it because we're in a three-way call, Kyle? The yep. teams is limiting us. Yep. Okay. Um, all right. We'll we'll address that. You said we have 10 minutes. Okay. We'll have a, a brief interruption, but we'll figure that out. Um should uh, be my pick now. Yes, it is. Great. Um there's only two weeks left that have not been taken anything yet. So I think that there's a decent game for week 10 and then a decent little drop off. There's, there's like two or three games that you could take there. Um, but because of how bad week two is, and I mean, guys, week two is yeah it's, garbage. It's real bad. It's um, there's not a pickable game in the entire lot. <laughs> there's not. And so this might be a reach taking of this early, but I want to make sure I get one of Ohio state and Michigan. Yeah. I'm being completely honest. No, you're a hundred. Yeah, no. Um, and by the way, this is exactly what will happen. Yeah. And so as much as I, I think I, I obviously I prefer Ohio state, but I think that taking nope. the West coast team and maybe getting a couple more eyes on it, it could be a different time of day. I'm going to take UNLV in Michigan. I don't feel great okay. about it, but I wanted to make sure that I got something from over there um, as well. So, I mean, that week just sucks. I, I, I'm not, I'm not touching week two again. I don't know if, uh, that's a spoiler for any picks for you guys for later, but I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty bad. Um, but it's, again, I wanted to get either Ohio state or Michigan. So I'll, I'll take that. Yeah, no, that's totally understandable. All right. I am up again. Um, staying along those lines, staying along these lines of, of getting brand recognition. Cause again, I think that's exactly how, this, in my opinion, should be done. Um, uh, let's see. I think I have a couple options here. I'm going to go with. Yeah, I think I guessed my pick. I'm going to go Ohio State. I'm going to go Rutgers. Ugh, yuck. <laughs> hey I, res I respect it but man hey i i'm I, i'm call me kendall roy i'm not doing things because it's because <laughs> it's right i'm doing things to make money here i think that was the fifth highest ranked game for week 10 for me which is <laughs> incredible but i mean it is ohio state so i think we, we you know we've almost picked have we picked every ohio state big 10 game i'm pretty sure big 10 game i'm pretty sure we have yeah. um well yeah, big we 10 have. game yes. uh, yeah if it's a big yeah uh ohio state and youngstown state is out there 
um, Ohio so might State. Well, might as well mark that one off then, Jared, because I'll, I'll I'll get that one there. Yeah. Okay. That one. Thought that would happen. Western, yeah, Ohio State, Western Kentucky is still out there, and of course the NBC game with Notre Dame is not Oof. eligible. Jared, good good luck. Um, when you do your week two pick, um, it's gonna be his last pick. Yeah. <laughs> At this point. That's, yeah, no, I, I I almost took the Youngstown State game, and I'm now kind of regretting not doing it. Yeah, because I mean it's it's that's yeah. rough. Um. Well. I have, I want to go ahead and take my week 10 game because I think it's, it's, it's a chance again to get a big brand. Well, you know what? Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to throw a curveball here. I'm actually going to go week 12. It'll be our first full finished um, week. And I'm going to take Nebraska at Wisconsin. I think there could be ramifications for the Big Ten West there, depending on how good Nebraska is. Wisconsin will definitely be good. Um, yeah, two two of the, the the bigger brands over there. All right, we're restarting. Nothing happened. If you're watching the video, absolutely nothing happened. Um, all right, it's my turn to pick. And, you know, every single one of my games so far has featured either Ohio State or Michigan. Um I'm going to take a bit of a jump away from that. Again, uh, I'm looking for brands. I'm looking for big, big brands. And I think Purdue at Nebraska um, in a week that's not fantastic, although I think there's a one more decent game in that week. Ohio, um, was that Kyle? Yeah, Kyle already took Ohio State and Wisconsin. So I'm going to get a, I'm going to get Penn State on the board. And I'm going to get uh, Nebraska on the board for week nine. Very interesting. All right. Splice, splice, splice. Jared and me cutting the tape like a GA tonight. Um, just, hey, I'm just, I, I could be wrong about this. That's not yeah. a week nine game. It should be Indiana and Penn State that week. Right? If Purdue at Nebraska. You put Penn State. Oh, what the hell did you I did. do? I you don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, may, maybe we're not splicing this in yet. No, I'm kidding. Um, I just I just misread that. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Um, backing up my thought process here a tad. Um, I don't know what the hell I was seeing. Um, I mean, if you want Purdue, Nebraska, you can have Purdue, Nebraska. No, I don't want Purdue, Nebraska. Uh, I will, okay. however, uh, jump just a, w a week earlier and I'll get Michigan, Michigan State. OK, sure. that that makes more sense, I think. Yep. I just apparently I, was, I, was, I apparently just saw Purdue I, and my mind put Penn was, State there for really some reason. Eyeballing, I was really eyeballing that one as my second pick as my second week. pick for that week, Jared. <laughs> yeah, that's probably, fair. Probably a good thing that you you took that um, when you did there. All right, so let's see. What do I not have? I so I don't have one, three, four, six, ten, and eleven. Well, eleven eleven is not that great of games, so I'm kind of staying away from eleven <laughs> for right now. For what's um, left? Yeah, not not great games. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you know, let's, let's go to, um, let's go to week six, Jared. Okay. Mm. Let's go to week six and we're going to, we're going to go Michigan. Yep. Yeah. At Minnesota. Absolutely. That's one of those Paul Bunyan games. I forget which one. <laughs> a jug or uh, axe or the Paul something. Bunyan trophy, yeah. something a piece like of that. Wood or something. I don't know. <laughs> right, that Michigan Michigan State game went off the board late. Yeah, that was that was hey, a good. Steal. Hey Jared, that's that's Wisconsin. It's supposed to be Minnesota. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. You know the whole apart, the, whole meeting, thing, yeah. the <laughs> whole meeting thing. The whole meeting thing is 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 pushing me into nonsense. All right, yeah. Austin's turn. Um. I am really glad that this game is still on the board because I was going to take it on my last pick and I was worried it wouldn't be there. Uh, week 10, I'm going to take uh, Penn State at Maryland. Um, again, 
not many great games week 10. There's a few that are decent. I think this is outside of the, um, obviously the big two or the big three games between Ohio State, Michigan, Michigan, Penn State, Penn State, Ohio State. I think this is a, a pretty decent one. Yep. Yep. Um, down, down one, Jared. Do you need me to take falling apart, <laughs> falling apart, guys. I am falling apart. Um, and also just, I, I wanted to get another Penn State game in there because they're one of the bigger three brands. So if I can't get a Michigan or Ohio State game, I'm going to take that. So. Makes sense uh, to me. All right, back to you, Jared. Right. Um, yeah, a lot of early, ga- early games here. You just don't need to mm-hmm. look at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My 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 pre week four or four and back, not uh, two through two through four, two through four. Not great. Uh, I'm going to remedy the week four portion of that. Um, again, going after yeah. brands. I'm going to go Michigan. I'm going to go Rutgers. Um, I have Ohio State Rutgers. Why not uh, go ahead and get Michigan Rush- Rutgers as well? Week four. Sure. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I mean, it's as good as a fourth place match is going to be. Yeah. It's as good as we're going to do this late in the draft. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I'm going to, I'll, I'll, I'll go with this one here. Um, they showed good promise last year. Um, a way to it? start. <laughs> they showed good promise. What, what was their um, 2022 record? They, they start off really strong, I thought. Um, yep, I know where you're going. Week three, I think. I think they'll. I think they'll give Penn State a run for their money here. I got Penn State and Illinois for week three. Could 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 be could be a, a trouble game for Penn State here. They, they, uh, Penn State did lose, or not Penn State. Illinois did lose a lot of their really good players to the draft, but. Kyle, this was this was the pick I almost picked, and then I went with Michigan Rutgers instead. Um, I was between these two, and by the way, that is our first Illinois appearance in the draft. <laughs> that is <laughs> Youngstown State taken before <laughs> Illinois in a Big Ten UNLV. draft. Yeah. <laughs> God, um, well, speaking of a Big Ten draft, Bert. I'm not. I'm not sure that you could. Uh, you could take a more Big Ten Burt game than Week Eight, Wisconsin at Illinois. I mean, good God, mm-hmm. that just the storyline writes itself. Um, Jared was talking about talking like a TV exec. I mean, the the Brett Bielma Bowl, the the Triple B. I mean, it, it's all right there. Um, so I'll go ahead and take that for Week Eight. I feel good about that. I mean, that's back to back weeks for Wisconsin or for um. Yeah, for for Wisconsin having to deal with Bert, um, the Berting intensifies. Yes, <laughs> dealing with Bert and then the whole fickle and Ohio State the week after that. It's, yeah, it's a tough stretch for Wisconsin there. They got they got a tough draw there. Mm-hmm. All right, Jared, it is back to you. Back to me. Um, the pickings are starting to get slim. Starting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it slim yeah. for a while. <laughs> You know, I bet at least by okay. So I'm just gonna say this: if you look at all of my picks thus far, Ohio State in week one, Michigan in week four, Michigan in week five, Ohio State in week seven, sure. Michigan in week eight, uh, week ten, Ohio State, week eleven, Michigan, week twelve, Ohio State, week thirteen, both of them. Like I've been very deliberate in my choices sure. and and i just don't think i have that option left anymore anywhere <laughs> like i i think as far as um the weeks i need to fill i believe with the exception of ohio state and western kentucky which i'm not gonna lie to you i am considering <laughs> do it um <laughs> I, I will, however, instead uh, look to week nine and and pick Michigan State at Minnesota. Ah, uh, that was going to yeah. be my that was going to be my um <laughs> that was going to be one of my wild cards there. That that was the next one there, Jared. It's it's an all right game. I yeah, it's a draft. That's a good pick. Yeah, we're I was about to, point, to say we're to the point where all right is. All yeah, right. pretty pretty. All, all right is pretty good. <laughs> Guys, it's 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 three a.m. It's it's. 
you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. All right, what do we got next here? Um, gosh, yeah, but it's it's tough trying to find trying to find these games here. So, I think I will go with week four. I'll okay. I'll, I'll fill in my week four here. I got Maryland and Sparty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I, I see, I see that one there. I see, I see Sparty and I see Maryland, um, two well-known, um, programs there. And I'm like, all right, that, that, there <laughs> think, we go. I think Zach uh, said it best when he said, "Gross." <laughs> <laughs> that, that feels about right. I mean, do you want very watch, exciting basketball game? Do you want to watch um, Louisiana Tech in Nebraska? No, that's why I picked Iowa and Penn State. <laughs> <laughs> Florida Atlantic um, and Illinois? It's on my board. <laughs> it's, it's, um, I am shocked that this game fell to me. Um, it, it falls right in line with, with Jared's mantra of pick the big brand. Um, week seven, I'm going to take Indiana and Michigan. Oh, I missed it's, that one. I, I, I um, legitimately would have taken that one had I seen it. Yep. I just straight up just didn't see that one was still available. Yep. I think that's the last Michigan Big Ten game. Maybe there's one more. Uh, as far as a Big Ten game? No, that that is that would be. I well, um, no, there's one more. There is one more. There is one more. Yeah. Well, it is your turn, Jared. So go for if it. You want, if you want to take it, Jared, go ahead. Um, will I? <laughs> No, no, I won't. Yeah. That's Maybe I true. will though. Yeah. But I but I'm not. Right. But I could. You could. But I'm not. But you're not. No. All right. Uh y'all y'all have been daring I feel like y'all have been daring me to take this by not taking it. And screw it, I'm just gonna take it. Week three, Ohio State versus Western Kentucky. You can, you can have it. That's fine. <laughs> it's yours. It's yours. Maybe Evan uh, Pryor will return a kickoff that game. Or punt. I'm okay. gonna use I'm gonna use one of my wild cards here, Jared. Oh, our Whoa. first wild card. I'm gonna use one of my wild cards right now because the rest of the games uh or weeks suck here. So uh Sure. I'm going to go with I'm going to go with a rivalry week here. I'm going to yeah, go I was about to say there's still some good games sitting in week 13. There's two. I'm going to go with I'm going to go with Wisconsin and Minnesota. Oh, OK, that works out for me then. I'll go with Wisconsin and Minnesota. Um, immediately after then, since uh, it's the only option left, really, that's anywhere near my board. I'll take Iowa and Nebraska that week. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Couldn't let you get both. Once one of them went off the board, I, I was pretty much forced to take the other one. Back to back weeks of uh, Nebraska on CBS. Just just the way that uh, that got intended. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get all those uh, but, but look Nebraska those cable games, boxes. Look, look, look at those early season games. It's like, ignore the end of the season. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying with my week two right now. We have two wild cards, right? We do. So you have one more remaining. Yeah, yeah. All right. It also kind of looks like week 13. Now you have a fatal four way match, which would be yeah. awesome. <laughs> I mean, a, a tornado tag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, Jared, it is your turn. It is my turn. Kyle, Kyle broke the seal on the, on the wild card game. Um, trying to decide if I'm going to follow suit and I I think I will. In week one, I'm going to add as my first wild card Nebraska Minnesota. That's that's fair. Get a new look at Matt Rule. What's going on there? I can respect that. Yeah. All right. Follow it. Kind of following um Austin's thing <laughs> with uh, Nebraska. Hot okay. take: Nebraska goes three and nine. I, I that's a that's hot a, take. That's, that's a, a hot... warm take at best. I think. <laughs> I'll take. No, I, I feel like they're like. A, I feel like they're. I think they're five hundred or a game I mean, over five hundred. I'll take the over, but if they went two and ten, I wouldn't be shocked. As as a reminder, in uh, Matt Rule's first year at Baylor, and this team is more talented. They went one and eleven. 
I will go week 10 here, Jared. I'll take the Nebraska game on the road to Sparty. Like sorry, you said pick. week 11, week 10. Week 10. Oh, sorry. Week 10, Nebraska, Sparty. Okay. Um, mm. Well, in that case, I will take the game that I thought Jared was going to take for week nine um, to just almost finish out my filling out my board. Uh, I'll take uh, Indiana. You don't have a week eight. five yet. Uh, I'm aware. Okay. You said... Yeah. Okay. To help finish out the board, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll take Indiana Penn State week nine. I feel like week five is so weak that I can wait a little bit to take that one. So uh, I'll go take Indiana Penn State. I don't want you guys to get that. That's fair. Very fair. Um oh yeah, yeah. So I I still need to fill out week two and week six. Kyle still needs a week one and a week eleven. Um Austin only has week five to fill out because he has not yet used his wild card pick. Yep. Two of them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't used yes. one. Yeah. He hasn't used one. He hasn't used one of his two like Khan I have. All Where right. Going, Jared? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna force myself to go ahead and um rip off the band-aid. Rip off the band-aid, pick a week six game. Mm-hmm. Um Howard, 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 Howard. <laughs> We're all rooting for Howard. We are all rooting for Howard, Jared. You're the only people are rooting for Howard. That's true. <laughs> um, I I have a lot of bad choices here. Um, <laughs> I feel like there are three equally yeah. bad choices: Nebraska, Illinois, Rutgers at Wisconsin, Purdue at Iowa. I, I think there's one that is a decent amount above the others. That's Howard and is it? <laughs> I, I think so. I mean, there's, there's no good option, but I think there's one that's better. Um, I really don't think any of them are, or I, yeah, I don't think any of them are good. I'm gonna go Rutgers, Wisconsin. Is that the one you were thinking? No, that was the worst one no, to me. That's a worst yeah. one. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I, I was thinking Nebraska, Illinois. Mm-hmm. I, I, I uh, okay. But I mean, again, I'm not going to really shame you for it because there's no good choice. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm I, again. I'm trying to be TV executive here. Uh, I I think those are better brands. All right. sure. So for my next pick, Jared, I'm going I'm going to go with uh, two former uh, oh, ACC you, challenges son of a bitch. Go, going at it here. So I'm going week three. Ugh. Virginia. Oh, this is Kyle's. Nova. Ooh. Nah, that was my, that I, like that. I like that. I like that pick. Maryland. I like that pick. That was my very next pick. Ah, unfortunate. I know there's a lot of hate within ACC about with Maryland going to the Big Ten. So this this could be fun. Aren't That's they so over cool. it yet? Or are no. they st- we- <laughs> <laughs> no. So. Kyle doesn't have any more of his wildcard picks yet, so he's he's locked into picking weeks one and eleven. Yes. That is correct. I, or Jared has to pick a week two game and then gets one wild card. So I am going to take what I think Jared wants to take for his other wild card. Um, <laughs> you're ahead of me. <laughs> and so again, branding, I'll take week ten Purdue Michigan. Okay. For my first wild card. I, I mean, honestly, looking at CBS and looking at, I mean, I, I don't know what the, what, what is it like CBS Sports Network is like the second network for CBS, I guess. Um, I, that I, that I, or stream it on Paramount, which I know will be a thing. Actually, I think the, I think their deal with Paramount is that they're going to simulcast it. Okay. So well, but I, what I'm whatever. Is I don't. I don't know which one of those two games would be on CBS and which one would be on uh, on the share platform. But honestly, fair. Yeah, you know, but both of them are fine. So I'm, I'm. I feel good about that. Yeah. All, All right, right two, everybody. Two rounds left. We're in. Yep. So you know how they say when you have two quarterbacks, you have no quarterbacks. <laughs> yep. Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So week three. 
Um, I don't I don't have one quarterback, so I'm going to have two quarterbacks. So I'm going to pair my Ohio State and Western Kentucky um, with Michigan and Bowling Green. Ugh. There's like oh. there's like I have three games at the top of my big board right now oh. that are all week three and none of them are that game. Oh, that's brutal. At least my game. I'm Re- guys, regional television, game. regional television. All right. I get the Michigan audience. I get the Ohio State audience. I'm just looking forward to your week two. Right, pick. I'm, I'm going I'm <laughs> to pick my. I am not. I'm going to pick my week 11 here and I will go Minnesota and Purdue. Yeah. Could be just because I had to pick a game. Honestly. (laughs) Yeah. This late. That's a decent pick. That's a, that's a, I mean, this late in the game, that's a real decent pick. So you both have used both of your, Yes. So yes. I'm free to either take my week five or take any my other game card, as long as I don't want it on week one or two, which <laughs> looking at those games, absolutely not. Um, well, now you're free to do whatever the hell you want. Well, not necessarily. You just be up on week one and two. <laughs> but I, you'd, but, you'd be but, screwing. You'd be screw. It would be purely a move to screw with us. Oh, Charlotte that's a, and that's Maryland. That's a great point. No, I, <laughs> Maryland. Thank you for that reminder. I will do that then. Um, let me look at the board just in case i'm pretty <laughs> sure i know what i want to do um honestly looking at this there's not like really anything to even if you took over. even if you took the third best week two game it's not that much better than the fourth best week two game so yeah. screw me i don't care Charlotte in maryland <laughs> you know what? I, ha- <laughs> oh, I mean they're, they're all bad aren't they no, yeah. I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I no. am going to. It'd be go funny for the meme, but like yeah. again, the fourth best and the fifth best aren't that different. I'll I'll go to I'll go to week five, um, and you know what? I feel like they, in in a way, they almost deserve to be picked. As much as I, uh, so I'm I'm stuck between two games here: Illinois and okay. Purdue. Okay. And Penn State at Northwestern. Now, okay. At this point in the draft, getting a Penn State game, I feel like, I, yeah, is pretty good. I agree. The, the problem is, it's against Northwestern. <laughs> and none of our games are Northwestern. Yeah, I was about no. to say, there is not a Northwestern game. I believe game. Northwestern is the only team. You don't want that Chicago audience? That has not been picked. But also, Northwestern has a chance to be a little bit better this year, if only because they don't play Ohio State, Michigan. <laughs> and they're usually they're they're good every other year. I mean, they, they tell me you'd be completely shocked that if Northwestern made the Big Ten championship game. I'd be completely shocked yes, if Big I Ten. Be shocked. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, you, I mean, well, <laughs> I, listen, uh, stop trying to justify the <laughs> Northwestern side of this game and just pick Penn State for the sake of picking Penn State. I'll take Penn State Northwestern. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. You're All right, getting Gary. a pet in the last, in the second to last round of this draft, you're getting a Penn State game. Take it. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Yeah. Your last pick, week two. You got Indiana State, no. Indiana. <laughs> you got go ahead. You got UTEP and Northwestern, Charlotte and Maryland, Delaware and Penn State. My personal favorite, Temple at Rutgers. Uh huh. Yep. That's that's the one I would have. <laughs> that's I, the one I would take. Do it. <laughs> God, it, it is it is honestly terrible. It is honestly very very bad um again i kind of like i just told austin i'm like shut up and take the penn state game (laughs) shut up and take the penn state game um (laughs) penn state at a team that looks a little bit like um well they well they have michigan's helmet in delaware (laughs) so i mean that's that's worth something right no not really no okay uh, well, it's Penn of, State. Uh, Delaware. Speaking of, you couldn't even get their actual logo. 
that is no austin that is their actual logo really that's pretty terrible um, that 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 is what wikipedia identifies as their official logo not the blue not the blue hat that is what wikipedia identifies as their official logo okay i that that, that's the information i have for you speaking of michigan helmets um that is actually the game that oh, I will God. pick for week one. Oh, We're going to have a North Carolina team upset Michigan in week one. East Carolina Pirates yeah. taking on Michigan. ECU <laughs> getting, listen, in the first year of the Big Ten Network, we got a Carolina team upsetting Michigan. So in the first year of NB, of the Big Ten on NBC, Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's run it the back. Story, the story writes itself. <laughs> Fuck yeah, go Pirates, baby. <laughs> exactly. It, Spikes, it legitimately is the greatest upset ever. <laughs> Big Ten Network, your home for 2023 Northwestern football. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Spikes. <laughs> All right. Last pick of the draft. There's... So many options. So, so many. They're all pretty bad. I'm looking at a lot of Indiana games. <laughs> um, <laughs> and none of them in particular look great. Um, I'm looking at Virginia Tech Rutgers. But I think. <laughs> Rutgers and Northwestern. Were Hear me out. Buffalo, Wisconsin. <laughs> It's an option. I mean, compared to some of these games. Towson, Ta- Ta- Maryland. I think I'm going to go a little sentimental with my last pick because I, I do have a good, I actually have a legit suggestion for you if you're interested in hearing it. Sure, go ahead. Week 12, Rutgers at Penn State. No. Okay. Um, although it is on my board. Uh, it's it's like number seven on the board. Well, I, I, you know, it's actually not that bad. I'm looking at the I, 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 by the way, just just responding to some of the live chat, I legitimately love ECU's branding. Oh, it's the great. black and purple and yellow pirate stuff. It, I, 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 I love. Kyle, did we talk about ECU in either the helmet or uniform uh-huh. episodes we did? Yes, we yeah. did. Okay, good. I'm glad. I'm glad yes, we did because we, did. we should have. All right, sorry, Austin. No, you're fine. I'm, they gave me more time. To I, yeah, I know. I, I know. I know exactly <laughs> what I was doing. Um, I was going to go Syracuse Purdue because we watched that during a social screen last year and it was a great game, but it, I don't think anyone is going to want to watch it. You need a week one pick Northwestern in Rutgers. Northwestern needs to be on here. I'm going to so go. Fair. I'm going to go with a week three we, game. We got Northwestern Penn State, Kyle. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I, have, I have three week three games at the top of my list. And I'm going to pick one of them. I'm going to venture not into an SEC school, but into SEC country. And Echo. it's an out of conference game. And maybe people will be interested. I mean, the week three schedule is not great. So I'm going to take Louisville and Indiana. Ah. You think okay. I was going to take Virginia Tech and Rutgers? Yep. I was nope. ready for it. I was getting ready and get ready for you, but nope. <laughs> Louisville could be better this year. They weren't terrible last year. I think, you know, people might tune into that game. I mean, it's the last pick of the draft, so I don't feel bad taking it there. I picked a Mac school and uh wherever the hell Delaware is school. I, I, I think Louisville, Indiana is a, a decent pick. There you have it. All right, guys, yeah. that is our draft. Um, <laughs> I thought about recounting it, but um, I'm not going to. Um, I I will (laughs) screenshot. I'll I'll, I'll export this. I'll export this. Uh, Don't you worry. The YouTube people can see it just fine. So those in the compared to actual season. Yeah, we 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 could do that. Yeah. So those in the chat, who do you think has the best lineup of games here that we picked and handicap and handicap it because I had first pick like. And by the way, not, not, yeah. Yeah. I mean, so handicap it knowing that I had an advantage and this isn't just for the people in the live chat. This is the people in the YouTube chat, um, wherever you're leaving comments on our stuff. Um, well, Hey there, chop daddy. 
So yeah, like hand, handicap the stuff accordingly. Let us know who you thought did the best. Um, this was a lot of fun. I I, I don't know. I, I hope I hope everyone enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed doing it because this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this. Um, I that's that's it. Um, I and I know the schedule. The actual schedule is coming out. Feel free to compare this to the actual schedule. Um, and I think that's that's uh, I think that's it for the draft. Unfortunately, I don't want to say bye to it. I was having fun. Um, till next year. Yeah, till next year. And by the way, did has anyone else done this? I I will now put. I didn't want to know before. Has anyone else done? I think we're the first people to do this. To Seems like I missed no a lot. You did. Done it. I don't believe anyone's done Just it. Just watch the YouTube video. Next day, <laughs> chop daddy. Yeah. We we drafted all the games is what happened. Uh, not all the games, 45 of the games. NBC did pretty well. CBS, I think, uh, will end up with a bunch of games no one thought about beforehand, but end up being fucking sweet games. That's how college football works. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah, the... Uh, the yeah, I mean, that, obviously that that's because, again, I I did what Fox would do and go after branding. Yeah. You know, Ohio's, you know, these Rutgers games, whether it be Michigan versus Rutgers or Ohio State versus Rutgers, a lot of these games are going to be over in the first quarter. But like the dirty secret is, is that those first quarter ads cost a lot more. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and part of my strategy coming into it was, okay, can I get some out of conference games that people don't see a lot that might be like, oh, that's going to catch my attention a little bit. Or can you get a different market or, you know, you, and you, you think through all of those things, obviously getting the, getting the big brands is probably one of the most important, but also just like getting games that people might be interested in. It's like, oh, I, I don't see Louisville, Indiana all the time. Like I'll tune into that. Right. Maybe. Do Ohio state fans stop watching the casuals do. Yeah. The casuals do. Um, the hardcores don't, but also the like the general audience. Like Columbus will tune in, Cleveland will tune in. Um, but will people who are hate watching keep watching after it's obvious? Because like the hate watchers, because that's the thing with Ohio State or with Michigan or with Penn State, any team that's involved in the national picture, you get hate watchers. The same way if you hear, oh, Alabama is struggling against whoever, and it's in the third quarter, we're, we're turning that on immediately to hate watch it because we just we want that what we want another team out of the national conversation. You know what I mean? Florida Atlantic, yeah, whoever. Like, so the hate watchers will tune in to see a possible loss by a national program. It happens to Ohio State. It happens to Michigan. It happens to Georgia, to any team that's relevant on the national picture. So even though you kind of expect Michigan and Rutgers or Ohio State and Rutgers to be a blowout and, and over by, you know, the third quarter. Just the possibility that like 10 million additional people will click over if the game gets close. It's big money. Yep, It's big money. Absolutely. Because if it all of a sudden may be a, a, a 500 team and another 500 team are having the game of the century, an absolutely brilliant game, no one's tuning in to hate watch because no one cares. Except maybe like the hardcore football fans looking for a cool game to watch. But the casuals like, aren't going to tune yeah. in. You know, if we're doing a social screen, I'm sure we'll flip it on. But. Exactly. The, the hardcores will tune will tune in a game just because it's awesome, even though it has no bearing on the national picture. But the casuals won't. And there are a lot more casuals than there are hardcores. All right. Anything else, Jerry? No, I was about to ask to you up? that. Oh. I was about to ask you that. Do you have anything in Is Kyle's there anything corner? Kyle's corner? Uh, hey, Jared. Yeah, yeah. How are you liking the new Zelda game? I love the new Zelda game. It's it's legitimately like one of the best games I've ever played. Period. It's 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 brilliant. It's fun. I can spend hours in there doing absolutely nothing. And you have. <laughs> and I have. <laughs> Isn't it Breath of the Tears of the Wild or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Breath of the Tears of the Wild. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> yeah. No, a lot of fun. I mean, I'm enjoying it too. It's it's a lot of fun. But no, that's that's it. It's not not much news related here. So I thought I thought I'd ask you on on something that was um fun in our off time here. So yeah. Um, thank you for not saying exactly how many hours I have in it. I, I swear, I swear to you, I put it down paused a lot. Uh huh. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Austin, is there anything in Austin's corner? Um, no, thanks uh, again for having me on. Sorry about the video issues, but um, <laughs> I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> Get a life. Yeah, that's that's fair. Um, I enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to it next year. I hope everybody enjoyed it. It was, uh, I think it was a great idea. I think it was a lot of fun. Hopefully everyone enjoyed it. So, uh, and Austin yeah, played a big, yeah, Austin played a big role in like making the idea as far as it was a conversation he and I had, I don't even remember how or when, but it was a conversation Austin and I had like, wouldn't this be fun? And it was just like, we both just like immediately clicked in like, yes, this would be a blast. Yeah. Um, I think it was in like January. The... So it was, it was a while ago. Oh, it was, it was, I think it was just like when the new TV deal was announced and we saw that the teams were literally going to draft for, I'm like draft games. Yes. Let's, let's do that. Um, yeah. So this was a lot of fun. Um, every, every big 10 team did end up getting picked Northwestern, only the one, unfortunately for <laughs> so, them. So, uh, Jared, I just looked it up because I, I looked at when it was posted in our uh, in our little chat there. Yeah. We've been sitting on this on we've been sitting on this idea since last August. Yeah, <laughs> which is kind of ridiculous, but yeah. yeah. Well, in, you when you were subbing for Kyle in like early January, you almost like said what we had planned. Yep. I was like, no, shut up, don't say it, <laughs> don't don't <laughs> let the idea out. Because, again, I don't think anyone's done this. And, you know, if you can be the first to do something in the college football sphere, even though no one's going to notice and a bigger, I'm sure some bigger, uh, more popular podcast will end up doing the idea as well. And people will give them credit, but screw it. It's off. It's 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 fine. Um, be what that's it. We're rambling now. That's the end of the show. Tonight's ending music uh, will be the Soul Monsters, a band out of Columbus. The name of this song is called Head in the Clouds. If you're watching the YouTube version of this, then you can uh, click on the link to hear the song. If you're listening to the audio version of this, um, then uh, you can just not do anything and keep listening. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, virtual local podcasters. Uh, once again, these are the Soul Monsters. <laughs>